The Ordinary Paperclip, a piece of steel wire bent to a looped shape normally used to hold sheets of paper. But there are some fun things we can do with paper clips, so let's do it. I do all kinds of projects, and if I do an easy project, people want hard projects. If I do a hard project, people want easy projects. So it's time for something easy, using these paper clips. You'll probably need a pair of pliers or needle nose pliers to make a lot of these bends. The first project is a classic, the spinner. For this one, we'll be using one of the smaller size paper clips. Using your pliers, we'll want to straighten this paper clip out as straight as we can make it, so it's just a single long piece. Then we're going to bend one end up, and a little bit further down on that same end, we're going to bend that end down. It's a little bit hard to explain the rest of this, but basically we're going to be forming a circle that goes all the way around the paper clip with two axes, a top and a bottom. I provided the exact diagram for this for free on my website, kipk.com. When you're done, it should kind of look a little bit like Pac-Man. If everything's aligned properly, all you have to do is spin it like a top. The paperclip spinner is a lot of fun, and even Tux loves it, of course. It'll go for a pretty long time, and you can even make one with a larger size paperclip. It's a little bit more stable than the smaller one. Now it's time for the paperclip catapult, and we'll be using a larger size paperclip for this one. We'll take the inside portion of this paperclip, and we're going to bend it up at about a 45 degree angle. Then about halfway down, we're going to take the end and bend it up at a 90 degree angle. And finally, that same end we just bent, we're going to bend it over so it touches the other side of the paper clip. It'll look like this when you're done. Now you'll need to grab some electrical tape or other tape will work as well, and we're going to pull off about a three inch piece, and then we're going to cut it right down the middle so we have two strips of tape. One strip will be wrapped around that bottom base to form a little shelf. It should look like this when you're done. Then we're going to wrap another piece of tape around this top part here. You've just made the support for our catapult ammo, which will be made out of aluminum foil. So I squeezed out two small balls and that's what we're going to use. To fire the paperclip catapult, just lay your ammo down on the base, pull back and let it fly. Go ahead, I dare you to shoot it across the classroom. It goes pretty far. Up next, the bouncy clip. For this one, we're going to use a large size paperclip. We'll bend out both ends to form a V. Then we'll bend those two ends out, so they come together forming a triangle. Now one of those ends needs to be bent up just a little bit so we can create some tension. Then bring those two ends together and latch one under the other. Now since they have tension, as soon as you drop that clip, it's going to bounce around. You can just push it over or you can drop it on a table and watch it bounce. Compete with your friends to see who can get theirs to bounce the highest. The clip copter is next, and for this, we'll use a small paper clip. For this fun toy, we're going to bend the outer loop out and make it nice and straight. Then we'll bend half of the other loop at a 90 degree angle straight up. It should look like this after that step. And we'll continue to bend that, and for this you can probably just use your fingers and fold it over. What you'll end up with is a little double loop. Then it's time for some masking tape. I'm using this blue painter's tape, and we'll peel off and cut straight about a 2 inch piece. Then the final step is to fold that little piece over the very end of our paper clip. It'll kind of look like a flag. Then all you need is a rubber band and two fingers. We'll hook our clip copter on that rubber band, pull back, and fire away. It's kind of hard for one person to shoot the copter and shoot it on video, but I did the best I could with my GoPro. It goes up about 20 feet in the air and comes down like a helicopter. It's a fun and easy little project. So there's a few cool paper clip toys. It's amazing what you can do with a little piece of metal. If you think about it, we use a small, sharp piece of metal to shave our faces. The amazing razors from Harry's. And if you want to get the best shave of your life, nobody does it better than Harry's. I've been telling you for some time now how great the shaving products are from Harry's. Their high-quality German-engineered blades are crafted for sharpness and precision. They really are amazing. They're half price of the big name drugstore brands, and of course, they're shipped completely free to your door. Their starter kit is just 15 bucks, and that includes the sleek razor, three blades, and either Harry's shave cream or their foaming gel, which is what I like. Plus, as an added bonus, you'll get $5 off your first purchase with my code KIPK5. So support my show and head over to harrys.com and experience a new way to shave. That's harrys.com.